Welcome. In the next few minutes, I will demonstrate the powerful user-driven reporting and analysis capabilities available in version 4 of Pentaho Business Intelligence Enterprise Edition. Pentaho Business Intelligence provides an intuitive web-based console that allows business users to easily navigate and create content so they can get answers quickly to those business questions without the complexities found in traditional BI tools. Let's say there's been a request to provide a sales by customer report. It needs to display customer contact information, including total sales and quantity ordered, for all shipped and in-process transactions for those customers in North America. Without involving any technical resources, I can simply define the data source I need to be able to create this report. With very little effort, I choose the tables needed from the defined data connections. I then link them together on a common field. I can modify columns and refine the data source view to use friendly display names, define levels of aggregation, and even set the display format for my measures. My customer data source is now ready to be used with the report designer. With point and click and drag and drop simplicity, I can position and format the columns that I need. I can then add some titles, as well as include filters to reduce my data set to only show data for North America and shipped and in-process orders. And by selecting a design template, it ensures professionally styled and consistent results each time. My next requirement is to visually compare what territories and regions had the most uncollected revenue using a process called exploratory analysis. With the same data source as in the first example, a similar analytical report can also be created and made available as a template. This template can be modified as needed. I can simply position or remove the columns and modify my filters accordingly to reflect the desired results. I can quickly visualize this using a stacked bar chart. You can now easily see the breakdown of the order statuses by the territories. North America has the most orders on hold, while EMEA has the most uncollected revenue overall. Let's save this as a key performance indicator that we can use later. Let's now view this data across another attribute such as country and turn on multi-charting. We can now see the breakdown of order statuses of each country within each territory. What stands out the most now is the $150,000 of on-hold orders that are in the USA within the North American territory. With interactive charting, I can drill down to uncover the next level of detail, revealing that most of the on-hold orders are coming from the state of California. If I quickly switch back to a tabular view, I can further drill into the transactional detail, which uncovers that the on-hold orders are linked to one particular customer, the Sharp Gift Warehouse. Now I can take the appropriate first steps to resolving this problem by contacting Sue Frick. My last requirement is to create a synchronized dashboard displaying my newly provisioned ad hoc and analysis reports. Very simply, I can grab the KPI I saved earlier and place it in the panel below. I then can bind any available parameters to the form controls in the filters panel above. This now makes my KPI dynamic, allowing me to view the data differently without multiple copies of the same object. I can also add some company standard KPIs to my layout which I can customize as needed. As you can see, not only can I turn raw data into actionable information, but I can also lay out those assets easily in one location, giving me complete power and flexibility on how I want to view my data. You have just witnessed user-driven business intelligence in action, allowing structured control, consumption, and design of reporting, analysis, and dashboard content. For more information on these value-added capabilities, View our companion videos or contact us at pentaho.com.